This is the Gaumont British News, presenting the truth to the free peoples of the world. Admiralty announces British submarines scored further successes. That would be followed by the return to port of a submarine which had been hitting hard at Germany or Italy, like the Sea Lion, which sank an enemy supply ship and then was attacked by enemy surface warships. Depth charges damaged the Sea Lion. Both periscopes were put out of action. After two days on the bottom, she repaired the damage and navigated home without periscopes. Like the Sunfish, here in port after torpedoing a supply ship and a tanker. and the Sturgeon, which sank a 10,000-ton Nazi transport with between three and 4,000 German troops on board. And when they come in after a successful patrol, they fly the Jolly Roger, like this one, whose bag has included a U-boat. Our picture coincides with this of a U-boat crew who were lucky when their craft was sunk. They were taken prisoner and landed at a British Empire port, 36 of them, from the U-93. The newsreel camera is going to take you out on patrol, from the moment of loading the tin fish aboard from the depot ship, which is the parent of all submarines. Over and above providing stores, the depot ship carries out major repairs. They're working on one of the huge pistons. Before patrol, the submarine's captain has a conference with the flotilla captain and the staff officer operations. Final instructions are received, and the last stores go aboard. Naturally, the last are perishables like vegetables and fruit. The diesel engines which drive the submarine when traveling on the surface are started up, leaving the comparative safety of port for the million dangers of the open sea in wartime. It's something to think about when you feel fed up, when you think the war is tough and restrictions are a nuisance. Think that every day, from some port in some part of the world, men are going out on the most nerve-wracking of all jobs, with discomfort, fatigue and mortal danger thrown on top for good measure. Soon after leaving port, the sub does a test dive. When the time comes to dive in action, everything must be working dead right. Back in the depot ship, wireless reports are constantly received to be handed on immediately to the staff officer operations, who keeps the flotilla captain informed. Our sub is nearing a zone where there may be enemy activity. There's the periscope. Even that makes quite a feather to be seen from the air. Everything quiet, so she comes to the surface again where she can use her diesel engines. Her precious batteries are used only for running underwater. It's dusk now, and reasonably safe to surface and charge them even in a danger zone. And that's the only time the crew get fresh air. Now the dawn is coming up and the sub prepares to dive again. Tanks fill up with water. She begins to slide down stealthily under the waves.
Up periscope as she dives. Convoy comes in sight, but it's one of ours. If that had been an enemy, the captain would maneuver into position, working out calculations in split seconds, giving the order to fire. If the enemy ship has no warship escort and is not heavily armed, the submarine will surface and do the job by gunfire. Torpedoes are costly. Only a limited number can be carried. Now the patrol is ended. They may have been out for a few days or a few weeks. Some have even been away from the parent ship for over three months. Every minute of every day and night fraught with peril. Captain comes ashore and goes in immediately to report. In this war, the submarines of the Royal Navy have sunk over 300 ships doing the enemy's vital war work, plus over 60 warships. And when they're back at the depot ship, they get tuned up with the first real wash and the odds and ends that make life bearable. They know the ordinary hazards of the sea, plus more than ordinary hazards of mechanical failure, plus the fact that every ship in the enemy's navies and every plane in their air forces is looking for a British submarine. Submariners get extra pay, danger money, and by gum they earn it. Hunting the enemy, keeping watch on hot spots like Kiel and Trondium. In a job like that, just a squat in the sunshine is the kind of thing millionaires can't buy. Mm -hmm.